Hello and welcome to Love Anything Art. Today I'll be making these three pairs of earrings for you and I'll be using the cane that I made in my previous video. These are the supplies I used for the first pair of earrings and this is the mold I used. Okay so this is the cane I used from my previous video. I've reduced them down into several different thicknesses and I'll use them throughout this video. For the first pair of earrings, I have taken a thicker piece of the cane and I'm going to slice off a fairly thick piece. And I'm going to place it inside of one of my molds. I'm going to use the teardrop shaped one. You can use whatever shape you'd like. And I'm just going to rest it on here and then flip it over. I just want to make sure that most of the design will fit into the mold or if I need to use a smaller cane. And it looks pretty good, so I'm just going to stick with this size. And it'll suction right down into the mold. If you take your finger and place it on the back side of the mold, and then press up, and then put the clay in there, and then release your finger from the back, and it'll kind of like suction it down into the mold. And for the part that spills over, you can just take it and tuck it down into the center to fill up that hole. And just use a roller to press everything into place. and then slice off the excess clay and then gently pop it out of the mold I've taken a piece of green clay and made each end come to a point and then I will slice it in half and these will be my leaves and then just arrange them on the piece however you want and I don't want it on this side, so I think I'll put it over on the other side. I think it looks better. For my flowers, I'm taking some purple clay and rolling it out. And then I'll slice off six equal length pieces. And then you'll just want to roll each piece into a ball. I've made six purple balls and then one yellow ball and that'll be the center of my flower. I'm going to put this on directly above the leaves. I'm just going to arrange all of my petals around the center. For the detailing, I will take a tool and make a line down the center. And then lines down the sides. And then one line down the center of each of the petals. And for assembling, I'm going to take this little clear stone that I have and place it directly in the middle. Pre-poke the eye hook holes for the top and the bottom. For the top, I'm just going to take a metal bead and place it on the eye hook. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I hope you take a moment to hit that subscribe button and then to check out some of my other videos I have made. And feel free to leave me a comment. I do answer every comment I get. And for the bottom, I have made these chains with one little bead on the end of each. And then I've attached this to the eye hook. And I'll put one metal bead on and then insert this into the clay. And I will leave all of these pieces intact as I bake it. After I've baked it, I'm going to glue in my eye hooks and resin my pieces. And this is the first pair of earrings. I like the way they came out. They kind of look like Easter and, well, that's the next holiday, but that's okay. On to the second pair. These are the supplies I used for the second pair and the mold I used. I'll be using one of the thinner canes for the next piece. Slice off several pieces. 
These are fairly thick. And then I'm going to just chop each one into fours. I'm going to add a little bit of black paint and then mix very well. Once it's thoroughly mixed, you can spread out all the pieces so that it'll dry quicker. Now that my pieces are pretty much dry, I'll go ahead and start placing them in the mold. And I'm using the circular mold. And you want to make sure they're tucked in there pretty well so that you can get out all of the air bubbles and to smooth everything out. And then slice off the excess and then gently pop them out of the mold. I've rolled out a long thin snake of purple clay. I'm just going to take it and join the two ends together and then begin lightly twisting. Now that I've got it all twisted up, I'm going to take it and wrap it in some silver leaf. If you didn't want to use silver leaf, you could just paint it once it is baked. But I kind of want the little silver flecks in it. And if you've ever played with silver or gold leaf, you'll know that the stuff gets everywhere and it rips very easily. But it's kind of fun to get messy and that's what the whole point of all of this is. To have a little fun and get a little messy. And I'll just wrap this around my circular piece making sure it's tucked in pretty good and then slice off the excess and I'll do this for both pieces. I'm going to pre-poke the eye hook hole for the top and then place in the eye hook. And when I pre-poke the eye hook hole for the bottom, I do want it to make sure that it is directly across from the one on the top. So I will pre-poke the eye hook hole and then I have added on a bead to the eye hook and then I'll place that in. And then I am going to bake my pieces. And now that my pieces are baked, I am going to remove the eye hook from the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to gently remove the silver leaf wrapped purple clay around it and you just gotta wiggle it a little bit. It will just take a few minutes to get that off, but it'll be worth it and easier to take care of the next step. Once I've removed the outer ring, I'm going to sand the pieces. On the middle part, I am just going to take off all of the black paint. And for the gold leaf, I do want to remove quite a bit of it. And once I'm finished, I will just reassemble everything. And then I will glue in my eye hooks, resin my pieces, and assemble my urn. And ta-da! They came out better than I thought they would. As I was going along, I thought, mm-mm, this is not gonna work. But they're kinda cute, I like them. On to the third pair. And these are the supplies I used for the third pair. I'll be using this medium-sized piece from the cane. I'll just slice off a few thin pieces. I'm going to slice them up, but I do want to leave them in fairly large pieces. I want the design to stay pretty much intact. And then I'll just mix up all the pieces. And I am kind of strategically placing everything. I don't want to have a whole bunch of gold clay in one spot or a whole bunch of green clay. And I still want the clover shape and design to show through. And I'll just gently flatten and squeeze everything together. And then I'll just place this baggie that I have cut in half over top and smooth out all of the seams and just make sure it's laying on there good and flat and there's no wrinkles in the baggie. I'm using this oval egg shaped cutter and I will just cut out a piece. And the baggie is nice because it'll give you a nice smooth edge. And then I'll need to make a second one for the back side. And then I'll just place the two halves together 
and make sure they line up ever so nicely. And then I'll take a tool and smooth out all of the seams. I've rolled out some purple and gold clay. And I'll cut off two equal length pieces. And then twist the pieces together. And then roll it up into a ball. And flatten it. You can do this as many times as you would like until you get a pattern that you like. And then I just will take a metal pen and roll the clay up around it. And this will be the center bud for my rose that I'll make that's going to sit on top. And then you'll just keep going on until you have as many rose petals as you would like. I'm going to make mine kind of small so I won't be making too many. And now that I have it to the size I want, I'm just going to slice off the back so it's kind of flat. And remove all of the excess clay. And then it will be ready for baking. I'm going to pre-poke my eye hook hole at the top and then place in my eye hook. And I'm going to bake my pieces. After baking, I took a little sandpaper and sanded down the back of the rose so that it was flat. And now I'll just place on a little bit of super glue and then glue this to the top of my piece. And then I'll assemble my earrings and resin my pieces. And voila! Three gorgeous earrings from one cane. I hope you enjoyed this St. Patty's Day special. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!